All right, so the good folks over at Akai, in conjunction with MSX and Air, has given us another effects plugin for the MPC and the MPC standalone units, as well as you can use this plugin in uh, other programs. It's called Fly Tape 2. It's not new, but it's new to the platform. And uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about it today. So let's go ahead and get to it. Bolo! Now, uh, Fly Tape 2 is really nothing new. It's been out for a while, especially for a lot of you people who have produced on iOS devices. You know that MSX has put out a lot of great plugins on iOS devices, and Fly Tape 2 is one of those. So I've actually had this particular plugin for a very long time. However, now that they did this with Akai, um, they have a different GUI and it looks a little bit more updated in a sense. Now, the big question that a lot of you guys are gonna ask is if you need this plugin and basically who is it for? My honest opinion is that if you're someone who likes to do live performances, whether you like to do live performances on stage or if you you know do the live performances like you see some of the guys who do like the live performances on IG and stuff like that, this will work, okay? This will work for you. And also, if you're looking for a few effects to kind of automate in your beats and stuff like that, this can work. Reason why I say that is because there's some effects in this plugin that we already have on the NPC platform. And most likely, if you use any type of DAW or whatever, you will have this as well. But today, we're gonna be talking about in standalone right now. Yeah, we're not talking about, you know, any type of VSTs or anything like that in the computer, we're talking about the standalone version. So if you wanna know anything about the computer version, you might wanna watch somebody else's video because I'm just strictly talking about standalone today. So what is this standalone plugin for? Why did they make it? Like what, what's the use for it? Well, basically what I call this plugin is the middleman killer. And what I mean by that is it basically gives you a digital version of a piece of hardware that people have used to try to recreate these effects. And to be honest with you, the hardware that I think that this plugin can replace is this right here, the SP404. As we all know, there's a lot of beat makers who like to use the SP404 with the MPC and standalone because of the effects in the SP404. And then now, with this particular plugin, you don't necessarily need the SP404 like that because they have pretty much the same effects inside of the NPC ready to go. It's kind of like Air Flavor Pro 2. It's pretty much the digital version of this, the Chroma console right here, which this thing is dope. Along with the SP404, it's dope too. This thing is really dope, really dope. Not getting rid of this no time soon. But if you don't have the cash to get something like the Chroma console or you don't feel like hooking it up, you can just get Air Flavor Pro and it pretty much does the same thing as this. You see what I mean by getting rid of the middleman here, in a sense? So yeah, essentially, you know, you can have all of that inside of the MPC standalone and you can use it that way without having to actually buy the actual equipment or to buy cords and cables and route everything like that, you can just do everything inside of the NPC in the standalone version. And I can't lie, you know, these plugins are pretty cheap. So, you know, compared to paying, you know, a couple hundred bucks for this and, you know, I paid what, like $500 for this? You really can't beat the price because I think this right here is only like 25 bucks or something like that. So, you can't really beat the price on it. So pretty much if you're kind of curious on getting it, you know, with the price, it won't pretty much break the bank or nothing like that. But do you really need it? Mm, you know, let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Fly Tape 2 and I have a beat that I made, it's a really quick beat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the effects to the beat so you guys can hear some of the effects, so you guys can hear what it does to the beat. 
Now, the cool thing about this is this stuff can be automated inside of the NPC so you can cut things on and off or you can just leave it on or, you know, or don't use it at all. And then that way you can add certain effects inside of your beat in standalone mode without having to buy expensive equipment to recreate those effects. So let me go ahead and open up the beat. Let me open up fly tape. I'm going to go through some of the effects so you guys can hear it. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So we got fly tape pulled up. I got a really quick beat. This is how the beat sounds without anything on it. All right, really quick, simple beat. So nothing, nothing too intricate or nothing like that. Just something really quick, just for the tutorial. But as you guys can see, fly tape is actually um, better. It looks better. They did some upgrades to it from the iOS version. The GUI is a lot cleaner. And I like what they did inside of the NPC, especially for the standalone. So the key features right here are the noise feature right here. The only time I really heard the noise feature is when I was using it on speed. And when I was using the lower values on speed, I can kind of hear the noise that it introduces in there. Um, but right here, as you guys can see the noise, and then right here, we have the tape right here. We have the bypass. We have the hold, which this is actually really cool. If you're like making beats and you want to hold these sounds without actually having to press and hold it down manually, you can just press hold and they'll lock it in. And then you have the mix function right here, which we'll go through all of that. As you guys can see, the effects that they have is speed, saturation, mute, reverse, uh, like a wobble, wobble, if you want to call it that. And then they have a lo-fi, a uh, break, and a stutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the effects. Some of them I'm going to use the hold, and some of them I'm going to use just the manual way of pressing it and releasing it so you guys can see how it works. So let's go ahead and get to it. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and went through the speed right there. And as you guys can see, I had to hold on to it. But if I just press hold right here, now I can go ahead and not even press anything. And then even with the hold, I can actually have multiple effects playing at the same time without me having to use my fingers. So watch this. So as you guys can see, if you press hold, you can actually have multiple different effects playing at the same time without you having to manually actually press down on the actual little buttons right here. However, some of them I would rather use manually, like the stutter right here, maybe the uh, mute as well. You will want to use that. And then that way you can use uh, those effects like when you're in a live setting. So if I'm playing the beat. All right, so as you guys can see, some of these effects, it's almost best to kind of use them like in a live setting. You will want to have it to where you can just manually press it without having the hold turned on. 
But, you know, some of the other effects you might want to use, like in actually making a beat, and then you want to keep those effects on the actual beat. And uh, one of the effects is the saturation right here, which this can really get crazy if you add too much saturation to the beat. So I'm gonna put this on hold and then we're gonna add the saturation. And then what we're gonna do from that point is mess with the mix knob so that it won't be too much saturation because this thing can really get pretty saturated. So I'm actually gonna pull the mix knob down and then let me turn on the saturation so you guys can hear how this sounds. All right, so as you guys can hear, the saturation can really get out of hand on that. So maybe if you was in a live setting, maybe you might put it on there like that. Um, let's see how it sounds with that. I'm gonna turn the mix all the way up and then let's just see how the saturation sounds like in a live setting. Uh, I'm not really too keen with the saturation <laughs> like that. You would definitely have to use like the mix function with the saturation to make sure that it sounds really good. But other than that, as you guys can see, it's a very simple plugin to use on here. Like I said before, it kind of cuts out the middleman, but um, it's actually very dope and you can use all of these sounds and you can either use them in a live setting or you can place them on hold so when you bounce the beat out, it will have the effects on here. So. It's actually pretty cool. I think the last effect that we didn't use was the reverse effect. So let's go ahead and see how that sounds real quick. All right, so that seems pretty cool too. So as you guys can see, this could be a very good plugin for like performances and everything. And uh, it's actually pretty dope. All right, so there it is, Fly Tape 2. As you guys can see, it comes with some really cool effects. And uh, you know, like I said before, if you're somebody who likes to do like performance takes or if you wanna add a few effects to your beats or something like that, this will work and it's cheap. And if you guys wanna go ahead and pick this up, I will have a link in the video description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.